Hi, thanks for joining us in this edition of Renovation Time. We're in a kitchen renovation that's uh, practically finished here, just waiting for the countertop and then we'll do the backsplash. And uh, this kitchen, I love the color of the kitchen. I think it's, um, it's, it's a lot different. This is the first time we've installed this cabinet color, but it's not the darker gray that typically a lot of people go with and it's not a light white. Uh, so it's kind of in between. And it has like a glazing on it, but it's a really nice color. So when you walk in here, I remember the first time I walked in when they were putting the kitchen in and it just caught my eye. So really something to consider. Uh, I think it's going to be around for a long time, this color. And I think a lot of people are going to be installing it in the near, in the near future. So this reno, uh, we left basically the flooring. So originally the flooring was here. We wanted to keep the same template as the original kitchen. Uh, so what that ended up doing is we had to basically keep the same template as much as we could. Now, a couple issues we had with doing that is one, which you can't see actually, the flooring guy literally just left, is there's a little area right here where the flooring came out a little further than our cabinet did. So we repaired that and actually there's one near the fridge as well that you can't see anymore, but it was just a little three inch patch. So the customer actually had flooring uh, and was able to find it for us. So when you're doing a reno and you're doing flooring or you're doing tile, one thing to keep in mind is always keep a box of tile or keep a little bit of the vinyl because if you get a, a mark or a nick, you can always replace it with something you have. So that's something to consider in your next reno. We'll come back and we're gonna continue to talk with the cabinetry and the plumbing. All right, so welcome back to renovation time. We have a minute here, so we'll make it quick upper cabinets all the way to the ceiling originally this had this was like a california uh, ceiling so it came down there was a bulkhead literally right here had the fluorescent lights so we took all of that out we added pot lights originally had fluorescence in there so now it's opened up so we can do the crown upper cabinets work really well lowers here corner sink so plumbing wise we did a corner sink again nice when you're looking outside gives you a lot more counter space <clears throat> excuse me when you're doing dishes and we are waiting for the counter so uh, hopefully it'll be in soon uh, pot drawers great creative idea works really well spice rack again one of my favorite inventions i think it's a great idea and uh, i know i don't have one and i wish i had one and then the corner cabinet, which is quite nice as well with a Lazy Susan. So everything's workable, flows really well. And over into this area, large pantry. So again, a lot of times these pantries will give as much space in the pantry as the whole kitchen did at one point. Upper cabinet above the fridge. And then over to here, we put a nice little wine rack in for them, two doors, and then another bank of pot drawers. So as you can see, flows really well, functions well, everything's close. And um, I love the color. So when you're thinking about doing a kitchen, come on in. We have a sample of this and we can certainly show it to you. But we'll come back here. We're going to show you some other features of this kitchen. And I hope you're enjoying this beautiful weather. And in Kitchen and Bath Center, call or visit their showroom at 1985 Lansdowne Street, just west of Braley Drive.